Okay, first thing I'll do is the uh, hardening of this silver. This is uh, number number one silver, and um, this is the second hardening with Joe Zudi. So. I already sanded this down with the 3000 stone and um, I will put this on maybe once or twice again to harden up this silver so it can be polished. So you put it on and then you have to take it off right away. Yep. And then you keep on doing this until there's almost no color. That, in other words, until you get most of it off. So. Again. So there's still color there. And then again. These are, this is silver on lacquer. It's not silver on ceramic. They're practice pieces for workshops. So, so that's good. There's almost nothing left. And then one more with this Joe Zuri. Okay. And again, this, the first one was about that dark. Okay.
So that's good. I'll do this too. This is a number 10 silver. But first I have to clean this up a little bit. So this is a number 10 silver, so I'm using a, a much thicker Nashiji. It's a kind of lacquer. It's a lot thicker than regular lacquer. And you don't take it off, you just leave it on there. So. Okay, so this is this is done basically. This um, outer ring is ten silver, and the inner ring is actually it's number one silver. So when it's dry, it's ready to be polished. And I'll do the same with this. I've already sanded this um, with this, which is a three thousand stone. I'll do it again a little bit, but uh, okay. just to get, get off the high parts. It's okay just to, and this is lacquer, lacquer, so it's not, it's not ceramic, but it's okay to sand this part, which is the lacquer part. You, when you polish this out, you'll fix it. So, when you polish out the silver, you'll you will also polish out the lacquer. So it's not a big deal if you get scratches in. So just. You go around and give it this lacquer is so thick it it covers practically in two coverings or two applications and it's different from this Jozuri in that you you take the Jozuri back off in other words 
you take about four or five applications for the Josuti. This you don't. You just do one, two, this is about maximum. And I have this, one second. So this is a, a partially polished piece. Um, this is this is gold, and this is silver, but it's just partially polished. It's not fully polished out. And this this is that when it's when this is dry. So if you polish it out, it'll get a lot shinier. Hello. Now the paper I'm using to absorb is just tissue, like this kind of tissue. So um, you don't need, you just basically need to absorb it back out of the, the area. So let me clean this up and then I'll do something else. So. Okay. And this is a, just like a uh, kind of a, a turpentine to clean this brush. Let's see it. Okay. Okay. We'll do the turpentine stuff one more time, and then vegetable oil. So, with these brushes, you you can clean them with just a cheap vegetable oil, not, not olive oil, but some kind of cheap vegetable oil. And you see how much of the lacquer is still coming out. So, one second, I've got a, I've got a, a focusing thing that looks like I can try that. Um, anyway, you can um, put this in and then push it out until you get a clear you know, the oil doesn't change colors because it's full of lacquer, so. And then I'll do the same. So here's, that's the vegetable oil, and then we push out. The lacquer. This gets out more than turpentine. And if you don't have a perfectly clean brush, in other words, if there's lacquer in the brush, the vegetable oil will not allow it to dry. So this, you, your brushes will last longer because the lacquer can't dry. So. That's pretty good. Okay. And then I'll just, um, first I'll wrap this. So it doesn't dry. And this is alcohol.
we have these two pieces to work on. This is a piece of faience and um, <laughs> very broken. So today I'll sand this a little bit, also fill in these areas. I don't know if you can see them, but they are um, low. So, but this, yeah, I'll do that. This is kind of more interesting because this is a, a new, which is a crack. This is a break. These are broken. But this is just a crack. And so is that. That, um, that line right here is a crack. And I've applied lacquer to this. And the lacquer will seep into the body to kind of close, you know, kind of glue it together. And now what I'll do, I want to take this lacquer off. I'll reapply it two or three times, but I'm going to do that with um, just some kind of polishing compound. Any is good. Any will work, but I just have this, so I'll use this. This is for polishing silver. So we put it on on there. So you see that this line, you can now see it a little more clearly, but here is the line. And it has a little bit of, of lacquer inside in it, so it won't spread. But I'll, I'll, put, I'll reapply the lacquer two or three more times. So. This line doesn't extend to the back, so that's kind of, uh, yeah, I don't see it extending to the back, so this line is just partially through the body, and uh, anyway, there's that. Now, um, there's two things to do on this bowl, and it's, um, I will do this for this uh, kind of workshop for another 10 or 15 minutes, so I won't do everything. But one thing to do is to sand down the, the sabi. And um, let me see. Okay. Sand down the sabi and to clean this up, and I'll use charcoal to clean it up. Sanding down, let's see here, okay. okay.
Okay, so there you go. It is uh, not possible to see the details of this, but I'm, I'm trying to get this edge smooth with the 2000, 2000 mesh sandpaper. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because I want to do the back with charcoal also. So here we have this, this area. And um, I need to get this excess off. So I'll try it this way. Very fast. Can I hit this? Okay. I used, um, let's see, on this I used Ginoco to, this is Sabi with Ginoco. Tonoco is uh, finer than um, Ginoco. And actually, for this kind of work, it's Ginoco is much better. So. And charcoal is pretty fast. Okay, same thing. of using this charcoal is it won't take everything out of this area. It'll just take off the majority of it. And um, so you don't have to just, you're not destroying everything that you did. Okay, so here, let's see here, okay. This plate is Japanese, very old, about um, 1670s. The glaze is a little soft, so you have to be real careful. So that line's too big, I think. 
Yes. Thousand waves out immediately. Okay, let me go. This is about a um, four hundred. No, it's not good. About eight hundred. Okay. Have to be careful not to scratch. The blazes. So this is um, almost ready for more another application of sabi or lacquer to kind of harden this sabi up. Um, but this charcoal works great to clean this up. So. Okay, that's all for this. I will. Uh, I'll do the next. Um, live workshop on the 23rd which is a monday so thank you for uh for joining bye